to an original report. It's the tale of two neighborhoods on the city's far south side. Pullman and Roseland may share a border, but the two neighborhoods have one major difference. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff is live with more. Dana. Eric and Rob, Pullman already had a historic base from which to build, but the alderman says that he has a master plan to revitalize his entire ward. But in the meantime, there are still struggles, and he says broken promises don't help. The charm of Chicago's historic Pullman neighborhood is almost eclipsed by signs of economic growth. Investment that led to the shopping area, strip mall, and soon to be community sports training facility. 300 million in economic development dollars in just a few years. All those things are equal to a reduction in crime. But swing just a few blocks west. I mean, this is blight. This is, this is what you, you can define as a blighted community. There is Roseland, a neighborhood left perpetually struggling since its economic heyday about 40 years ago. Does it dishearten you to walk through or drive through Roseland? Well, yes and no. Yes, it disheartened me, but at the same time, I see something that you don't. I see the revitalization that's possible. Revitalization that Ninth Ward Alderman Anthony Beal says he's continually trying to sell. The lack of it, though, contributing to vacant buildings, lots, joblessness, and crime. So now I'm depressed. Now I'm using some drugs. And then that begins to be just become a reciprocating factor in families. Marsha Eglin runs Impact Family Center, which started in Roseland. Her goal through programs and events like this one is to train, mentor, and support people in neighborhoods like Roseland. She says hopes for a future in those communities, though, can be scarce. And especially the young men said, oh no, if anything, I'm planning my funeral. I'm not going to college. What's the use? What more should people be doing, state level, federal level, mm -hmm. to help communities like Rose. It's all about the resources. Both luring them and keeping them. Do you mm -hmm. think black and brown communities still have to fight that much harder? Oh, to absolutely. Be absolutely. We have to fight harder. Every governor that has ever come past has said what, what, what they're going to do in a black and brown community and they come and cater to our vote, get our vote, and then you never see the resources after that. Eglin calls it a shared lack of follow through. But when you do what you say you do is better. And Eglin says that is a responsibility that needs to be shared by all community leaders, including religious leaders. Now, I reached out to State Senator Napoleon Harris and State Rep Robert Rita to talk to them about the area, to ask them what more should be done to help areas, including some of the South struggling suburbs. But neither returned my call or were available to talk to me about this today. We are live in Pullman. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Robin yeah, Erica. Really interesting look at those communities, Dana. Thank you.